it, you guys. I'm here. This is the tiny home I'm staying in. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's even got its own little backyard. All right, let's do a little tour. <laughs> Here's a little kitchenette, microwave, kitchen counter. That's awesome. It's a pretty big fridge. And then the bathroom's over there, couch. I believe the bed folds down from in there. And it has a little table. And the bathroom. Oh, there's no curtain on the bathroom window. <laughs> it's cute. That's it. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to work the blinds and stuff because I want to take a nap. Pretty simple though. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm here. I'm in my little Airbnb tiny home. It's really cute. I like it. You can kind of see in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to open the bed up behind me here and uh, probably take a nap. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I was kind of dozing on the airplane. This is a cute little tiny home and this bathroom is actually really big. It's actually a lot bigger bathroom than I was expecting. And the living space too, it feels bigger to me than I was expecting. And I'm really happy that it has a kitchen area. Now I can put my oatmeal and stuff over there for the morning and get all settled in and then pull the bed down and see if it's comfy. I'm not sure how this works. Oh no, yeah, this whole thing comes down. So, hmm, where are you supposed to put the couch? I think I'm supposed to move the couch over there in front of the, um, kitchenette while you're sleeping. It's kind of big though. I did it! Oh, there's a fan up there, I didn't notice. There's a light here, a fan there. There's also a kitchen light. All right, you guys, this is how much of a city girl I am. I've been trying to take a nap all afternoon since I got here. Well, for like the last hour, I've been trying to take a nap and I can't sleep because there's birds chirping, <laughs> there's a dog that barks every once in a while, I guess somewhere in the neighborhood. It's not even that close, but I'm not used to hearing. I'm used to having like complete silence when I sleep because <laughs> I live in the middle of, you know, there's not a lot of nature sounds where I live. So I live in the city, like more like, not like, I don't know, I don't know. This place is, I don't know how to describe it because I mean, Austin is a city and this is obviously a suburb and I live in a suburb too. So I don't know, but there's lots of trees and birds and I don't have that in Vegas. There's not a lot of birds hanging around, you know, there's not a lot of trees for them to hang out in around my apartment. <laughs> I am so happy that I decided to bring a pair of earplugs with me. Somehow I knew that I should bring earplugs with me. So I'm so glad I brought these because I might, I'm, kind of thinking I'm just gonna give up on my afternoon nap but I definitely am happy that I have those for tonight in case in case there's noises at night like loud crickets or something I don't know like I said I'm not used to it I'm starting to get kind of hungry and I don't know like I'm nervous to go out exploring on my own because I'm gonna have to walk there's a um there's a hot dog stand, a vegan hot dog stand, only eight minutes walk from here, but I'm afraid to go there alone because I don't know this area. <laughs> I just think I'm just gonna make my oatmeal that I had and I'll wait until tonight when Janine and her hubby get here and then go out and have dinner with them. And as far as I could tell, I don't think they have Uber or Lyft here. I'm gonna try to look it up on the app and see, but I'm pretty sure they don't have Uber or Lyft here. And taxis are a lot more expensive than Uber and Lyft, so. This place was like 10 minutes from the airport and with the tip it cost me $34 to get from the airport to my Airbnb so I don't really want to use taxis any more than I have to so if I go to that place I'm gonna walk there and so I might just wait to do that on another day when I feel a little more comfortable with the area once I start going out and stuff maybe I'll feel more comfortable and then maybe I'll go out there on a <laughs> I'm such a chicken Sunday or Monday. I leave on Tuesday. My flight is not until 4 p.m. So checkouts at 11. So I'll probably check out, go eat somewhere, and then go to the airport. So maybe I'll try it on that day. I don't know. 
I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to kill time today since I'm alone. So yeah, I think I'm gonna eat something and just hang out, maybe watch YouTube <laughs> for a while or read my book. It is relaxing. I mean, I like the sounds of nature. I just can't sleep. And I think there's a church nearby because at 12 o'clock, a bell started tolling and it went on for like five minutes. So I think there's a church nearby. <laughs> it's really pretty out here though. But anyway, my first meal in the tiny home. <laughs> Muesli with date syrup. I got lucky, somebody left two waters in the, uh, the little fridge that was in here. So woohoo for that. I don't have to go out and buy anything right away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Airbnb tiny home tour and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.